Let's just sew whatever. We are going to go over how to do a hidden strap connector on the Annette handbag. I am first going to start by top stitching my vinyl connectors an eighth of an inch from each edge. And then we're actually going to end up cutting this down. And the length of these is going to vary from bag to bag, but it never hurts to have them long. Like if it's too long, the worst you've done is waste a little bit of vinyl and you've got excess within your seam allowance. So no biggie. I know I need a total of four connectors. So I'm just gonna cut these in half. You might have one long piece that needs to be cut in half and then those pieces in half again. I've got my four square rings and then I have my hidden strap connector template. Uh, this could vary depending on where you purchase it from. This one is from Jolie Lee Creations. Um, so that is what I'm going to be using today. And then we're gonna take a medium sized ruler that's gonna help us center these out. So I think we're gonna end up putting these two and a half, 2.75 from the top edge. So I'm gonna line up my ruler in the center and then I'm gonna mark 2.75 across. And then on average, you want your connectors to be like two inches apart four inches total. So two inches in from the center lines, I'm going to make a darker line. Nope, that's one. Great, doing great. All right. Okay, so I went 2.75 down from the top and centered. Yep. And then I've marked out two inches from each side. So right here to here, et cetera, et cetera. Hope you can see that okay. And now what I'm gonna do is take my hidden strap connector template and it has a half inch, a three quarter, and a one inch. We're using one inch hardware. So this is the one we're gonna use. We're going to line this up within that line Make sure it's straight and then trace around that like trapezoidal shape. Okay. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball that that's where I want those to be. And it is correct. Yes, that's where I want them. So then we are going to carefully cut that out. There are many ways to do a hidden strap connector, but this is definitely one of the easiest, I would say. So make sure you cut all the way through your layers and down to that line. And you'll kind of see how that opens up. So we're gonna repeat that for all of the four connectors. Make sure you're using really sharp scissors. Okay. 
Now we're gonna grab two of our connectors and this is gonna get placed within that area, within that little hole. And you want about an inch underneath here. And we're gonna make sure those are lined up straight. So we're going, in, you can go either up from the back or in from the top. It makes no difference whatever sits nicely. And you wanna make sure that those are lined up nice and straight and that you've got something within the back side. So what we're gonna do is we are going to sew above the trapezoid through our fabric. You wanna make sure you sew from fabric end to fabric end, but no further and about the distance of your foot up. You don't want to go too crazy with your back stitching or anything like that. You could risk perforating your vinyl and you want to make sure the wrong side of your strap connector is facing up. So you should see where you folded the fabric. Make sure from the other side that you did sew through your fabric and you can see we still have that hole open. No biggie. So we're gonna grab our D square rings, D rings, whatever you're using and feed that through the opening. And you can see it's hidden. So what we wanna do now is push the fabric out of the way with the trapezoid on top of your layers of connectors. And you're gonna sew through with your layers lined up over top of that marked out line from trapezoid corner to trapezoid corner. And that closes off that hidden connector and then we'll add a rivet through all of those layers. So it's, it's pretty quick. Make sure you get the first one down and you understand it and then you can move on to the rest, but you got this. A little trick to keep the distance of your strap connectors even is to kind of get one finished and then you're looking at the other one, you're pulling it to where it's good grab it from the underside and pinch all of those layers together so that when you flip it, you're holding all those layers and nothing shifts on you and then it gets uneven when you're done. And then don't trim any of that excess fabric because we wanna make sure that we're riveting through it. If your fabric for your connectors is a little thicker than you anticipated, and you're not sure if your rivet will go through it all, what you can do is just rivet through one of the pieces because you, you just need to add some extra stability. But that is a hidden strap connector for any bag. And then with this template, you can use one inch, three quarter or half inch. And then what this little piece down here with that little hole does is you can mark out the center for your rivet. So it's a great little tool, highly recommend it. Let's continue on with our bag.